Let's test our project on a live server. We'll start by exploring the admin area. When we try to access the admin area without logging in, we're redirected to the login page with an error message. We need to log in to access the admin pages. Now, we're in the admin dashboard. Let's navigate to the profile page. On this page, I'll update the name and username. Done. We received a success message. Let's update the profile picture. Great. The profile picture was updated successfully. I can also update my social media links. Now, let's go to the settings page. First, I'll change the site email address to the email account we created. I can also update the website's social media links. Let's return to the profile page. Here, I'll update my password. Initially, my email inbox is empty. When I enter an incorrect current password, I get an error. But when I enter the correct current password, no error appears in this field. So, let's enter a new password and confirm it. As you can see, the password was updated and the system redirected me to the login page with a success message. I received a new email containing my updated credentials. Now, I can log in with the new credentials.
If I use the wrong password, I get an error. But if I use the correct updated password, I'm redirected to the admin dashboard. Suppose I forgot my password. When I enter an unregistered email, I get an error message. But when I enter a registered email, a password reset link is sent to that address. I received an email to reset my password. This link is valid for 15 minutes. To reset the password, just click the Reset Password button. You'll be redirected to the Reset Password page. Once the password is changed, I'm redirected to the login page with a success message. Checking my inbox, I see a new email containing my updated credentials. Now, I'll log in with the new credentials. Great! I'm back in the admin dashboard. Let's delete these test newsletter subscriber email addresses. We need to register valid email addresses to test the queue work feature. Suppose users want to subscribe to our newsletter. A user can submit their email using the footer form. The user has successfully subscribed. Let's add another email. Now, we have two registered newsletter subscribers. I'll create a new post to test cron job. The post visibility is set to public. As you can see, we have a success message. Two jobs were added to the jobs table. Refreshing the table doesn't show changes because I made a mistake in the previous video.
I forgot to add the env function here. Sometimes, it's necessary to delete files in the cache folder. Let's refresh the table again. As you can see, the jobs were processed successfully. This means emails were sent to each subscriber. As I mentioned, subscribers received a blog post email with the newly published post. They can visit the post by clicking a button in the email. In a few seconds, we'll join the blog post newsletter with this email. Let's create a second post. Before submitting, let's register another newsletter subscriber. The post was created successfully. Great! The first subscriber received a new email with the published post. The second subscriber also received a similar email with the published post. This confirms that our cron job is working perfectly. Deleting a post works perfectly too. I can also filter posts. That's it for the admin area. Other features are included in the source code. Back to the front end of our project. Visitors can send messages through the contact form. Let's check the inbox of our created email account.
Delete the default email. Suppose a user sends a message. As you can see, we have a success message. Checking the email inbox, there's a new message. The contact form email was received successfully. The search functionality is working perfectly. Posts can be filtered by category. The post detail page looks great. Social share buttons are working well too. Friends, I hope you've learned how to create your own blog using Laravel 11. That's it. We've officially reached the end of the Laravel 11 blog project, step-by-step -step tutorial series. I want to take a moment to sincerely thank each and every one of you who followed along from the very beginning to the end. Your dedication, support, and engagement mean the world to me. I hope this series has been helpful and that you've learned a lot about Laravel development while building this project together. Remember, coding is a journey, and every step you take brings you closer to mastering your skills. If you found this series valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and programming insights. Feel free to leave your feedback, questions, or suggestions in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for being part of this journey.